Hey there, Monster Gardeners. Here to talk to you today about a uh, not so new but very innovative product that's probably new to a lot of you. It's actually called diatomaceous earth. You'll notice this is food grade. It is an organic substance and it's found in a lot of common household items you might not, you might not know about. Items such as ice cream and toothpaste. Um, it's used to basically keep bugs away. Um, what we see the ultimate purpose of this being would be to basically keep bugs mitigated at every stages of growth. With a top dressing, you can uh, effectively kill any of the bugs that are crawling out of your soil. What is a top dressing? Well, a top dressing, and uh, to be just very, very simple about it, is just taking a handful of this stuff and spreading it around the base of your plant. Just started carrying this one, which is food grade, uh, organic, and OMRI listed. It's like talcum powder almost. Yeah, it's really fine. What actually this stuff does is that soft-bodied insects that are crawling in, out, and around your soil, they get shredded by this stuff, kind of like fiberglass. Although it is not harmful to people, you see insects have a layer of wax that they breathe through on the outside of their exoskeleton. They don't have possess lungs like you or I do. So what this does essentially is it strips off that layer of wax and cuts up the soft-bodied insect so that it can no longer breathe. They suffocate. Um, they suffocate, essentially. Uh, also, larvae and uh, the smaller ones, when they're, when they're just hatching out of eggs and they're in the nymph stage and things like that, they cannot survive passing through this. So if you put a top dressing of this on top of your soil, you will notice that you have far less problems with things like gnats. Um, so you just, you just sprinkle a layer of it on top of your soil? Just a sprinkle a layer of it on top of your soil. It doesn't even have to be all that thick. Just it being there, they, you can see the white on the surface. That lets you know that it is present. And if you're using our soil, you should be happy to know that there already are some diatoms mixed into there for that specific purpose. So if you're using the the Cocoa Forest, the Cocoa Connoisseur, the Air Max, it has diatoms built into it. That is correct. That's not to say that a top dressing couldn't hurt to add those as well because uh, pests can come from outside sources besides just from inside your soil. So it's not going to affect the PPMs of my plant when it's used as a top dressing and watered in? It will not affect the PPMs. There is absolutely no nutrition to this stuff. They're like fossilized shells. Perfectly safe to get all over you. You don't want to inhale the dust just like with vermiculite or if you're a person who uses the Growstone product, you know that you don't want to inhale that dust. But uh, Perfectly safe to have all over you, won't hurt your kids, won't hurt your pets. Kills a wide variety of crawling insects. Um, effective against fleas, effective against aphids, effective against gnats, effective against thrips. Anything that crawls out of your soil. Anything that crawls out of the soil or lays dirt in the soil. Which what is, about spraying it on the plants, like dusting the plants with it? Not going to hurt them at all. I wouldn't I wouldn't do it uh, on a flowering plant past probably like maybe week three or so, so it gives a chan the plant a chance to wash it off. But um, since it doesn't hurt you, and it doesn't hurt the plant. There's really no harm in, in doing a doing a uh, foliar. It's like flocking in the garden, almost like a Christmas tree. Yeah, you could uh, you could uh, equate it to that. Wow. Well, let's. Uh, do there any tools that we have in order to do that? There. I'm glad that you asked that. There's actually a tool that's made specifically for products like this and sulfur. Very simple. No uh, no batteries, no plugs, no cables. It's a hand crank operated hopper system that essentially allows you to broadcast spread very finely chelated products such as sulfur. Oh, so you could do like sulfur dust? You could do sulfur dust as well. Oh, so you could maybe like underneath your house if you're pulling from your intake, maybe sulfur dust underneath your house to eliminate mold spores. That might not be a horrible idea. So if you're pulling air from maybe your crawl space or, or, your, attic. or your attic, this sulfur dust actually might be a good layer to lay down to eliminate any mold spores that are coming in through your intake. Sulfur can also be used to adjust your soil's pH. But it could be applied through the same device that we're recommending for the diatomaceous earth as well. That is correct. I'm going to get this full right now.
long day, ready to go. Run! Run!